What's going on guys, it's your boy Jho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Trials of Osiris rewards from this past weekend on all three of my characters. So this week's Trials map was Firebase Delphi, one of my favorite maps from year one of Destiny and I was actually really surprised to see this one come up in the rotation this week for Trials just because I thought they were going to focus more on the newer maps, the Taken King maps for year two of Trials, at least for the first few weeks. And then after that, maybe they could throw in some of the older ones. But I was really happy and I enjoyed uh, Firebase Delphi as the Trials map this weekend. So it was pretty fun. I liked it a lot. It was a lot of close quarters gunfights, but you still could use... Uh, snipers and stuff like that so it was a lot of different playstyles that you come across and it was pretty good so let's get into my rewards for the week starting off on my first character on my hunter from the lighthouse chest we were able to get ourselves an adept reflection sum and five motes of light my reflection sum came in at 314 attack and the perk was Hidden Hand because Army of One is always one of the standard perks on it. So, not bad. I was looking for a Head Seeker perk on it. However, I did get a Head Seeker on one of my drops for the Reflection Sum because that was the weapon of the week that dropped if you get to 7 wins on your passage. So, that was pretty good if you got one of those. Going into the tier bounty rewards for my hunter, for the first four bounties, we were able to get the usual passage coins, motes of light, and legendary marks. From the silver tier, I got unlucky and didn't get an exotic there. And from the gold tier, we got the trials sniper rifle, and it came in at 310. So I'm probably going to end up using this for infusion fuel because I did get a sniper rifle from last week as well because it was dropping at 7 wins last week. And I don't really care for the sniper rifle that much. I like sticking to my thousand yard stare more. Then going into my second character on my Titan from the lighthouse chest. We were able to get once again another adept reflection sum and five motes of light. And this time my reflection sum came in at 310 attack. And the perk was secret round. So not the greatest drop from my lighthouse chest. It was the lowest possible attack. But again I can always use it as infusion fuel. Going into my tier bounties for my Titan from the first four packages, once again we get legendary marks, passage coins, and motes of light. For the silver tier, I got unlucky once again and got no exotics. And for the gold tier, we got an unseeing eye machine gun. So machine gun is actually not that bad. I got one last week and I tried it out. This one came in at 304. It is one of those uh, slow firing high impact machine guns so it's pretty decent pretty similar to like the Jolder's Hammer from year one uh, pretty similar to the year one trials one as well that one had similar base stats on it as well. And then finally for my last character on my warlock from the lighthouse chest we were able to get a doctrine of passing auto rifle and six motes of light. And this one came in at 312 with Hidden Hand and Persistence. So probably going to use it for Infusion Fuel because the Auto Rifle is kind of bad. The stats on it aren't the greatest. So yeah. And then ending it off on my tier bounty rewards for my Warlock. We were able to get some Passage Coins, Motes of Light, Legendary Marks. And for the Silver Tier, I got no Exotics for the week from all my Silver Tiers. And for the Gold Tier, once again we get the Sniper Rifle. And it came in at 310. So I got two 310 snipers from my gold tier and the machine gun. So uh, that's about it for this week. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.